Oh yeah, I can get used to this. Hello, I'm Derek and welcome to Hindsight 101, where you're learning about things that will help you in everyday life. Now, Tag Life sent me their battery powered mower in exchange for my review, so I'm going to give you my thoughts on it. Now, first we're going to go through the pros and cons, and then we're going to talk about what's in the box, and then I'm going to give you a quick demo. So let's get to it. So let's get the pros and cons out of the way. Now first, let's do the pros. This thing is incredibly easy to clean. So when you want to tip it on its side, it's so light, that makes it very easy. And then also, it has no fluids in it, so there's no accidentally spilling out the oil or the fuel. Now next, it's very light, like I said. It only weighs about 30 pounds, whereas your normal push mower weighs around 60 pounds. So for someone who has trouble pushing a heavy mower, this thing is perfect for them. Now it's easy to store. One, because the handle folds down into a very compact unit, and then also you can store it upright instead of having to store it flat like most mowers. Lastly, it has wonderful battery life. Now my front yard is around 2,000 square feet, and out of four bars, it only used up two of them to do that part, and my backyard is around 3,000 square feet, and it pretty much used up the whole battery. So my suggestion is make sure you buy an extra battery, and then you could probably do your whole yard depending on the size of it. The batteries are going for around $95 as of May 2021, so it's not a bad deal. Now let's talk about the cons. I know this first one was kind of a pro as well, but it being mostly plastic, it's not as durable as a metal lawnmower. So you just have to be careful with it because you could crack it a lot easier than a normal metal lawnmower. Now this thing isn't as wide. It's only 16 inches as opposed to my gas powered lawnmower, which is 21 inches wide. So you just have to know that it's, it's not going to cut as much, but it being so light, it should go a lot faster or just as fast. And then lastly, this one isn't so much of a con, more just of a useless gimmick. So I thought I'd throw it in there, but the bag features I think are useless. So there's two bag features to let you know that it's full. One, it has a little flap that air flows through the bag and it keeps the flap open. And as it bag fills up with grass, that flap will close because air isn't flowing through as well. It didn't really work out that well for me. When it was empty, grass would just start flying out of it. And as it fills up, you can't really tell if it's open or closed. And then there's a window that kind of lets you see inside of the bag to see how full it is. But because it's all the way in the front, by the time you realize that the bag is full, the mower will bog down before you can see through that window that there's a lot of grass. So I like going through the method of just using my foot to tap the bag to see how heavy it is. And that's always worked for me because then I don't have to stop while I'm mowing. Whereas with these other ones, I may have to stop and look at the window to be able to actually see it. So, I mean, it's not hurting anything. You can still use the mower. I just didn't really care for those features. Here's some grass that I let grow a little too long, but this is a good test for the mower to see how well it does with long, thick grass. I think it did fairly well. Things got a little bogged down right around here and the unit actually shut off. So I had to restart it. So, and then I kind of had to push it back and forth, kind of like a vacuum. And then it, it had no problem with the rest of it. I'd say the end result was pretty good, especially being a battery powered mower. Can't complain. Here, I just wanted to show you how well the mower chops up the grass. Nothing too exciting to see. Now, as I said before, doing my 2,000 square foot front yard only used up two bars. And this will let you see what the mower looks like underneath after cutting the grass. It was a little damp, but that's it. And this is about 3,000 square feet, and it took one whole battery to do the back. So this is everything you get in the box. You get the mower, you get the handle for the bag, you get the clamps, the battery, the charger, and the bag. So let's put it together. You want to take the handle to the base and you need to clamp it down. There's two little notches that the handle will fit into. So you just want to make sure it's put in there. Now you don't need much pressure to clamp down the handle. Actually, if you put too much, it'll be impossible to clamp down. As you can see, I could have eased up a little bit. It shouldn't be that hard to clamp down. Now you want to gather the hardware to put the top handle on. It comes into three pieces. 
Now you'll take the screw on handle and slide it into one of the three holes. Depending on how tall or short you are, you can adjust it accordingly. Once you have both of these in, there's also little orange washers that you have to put in on the other side. They have little indents so they fit securely to the bar. You want to make sure the clamp handle is down. Uh, it'll be a lot easier if you leave it in the down position than trying to screw on the knob and then clamping it down. It's very light, so you don't need that much force anyway, so just make sure it's down when you're screwing this on. And you will just repeat for the other side. Now the mower handles assembly is completed. Now you want to insert the starting key into the mower. The mower will not start unless you have this key in place. It's a safety feature to prevent a young child from turning it on and hurting themselves. Now to connect the handle to the bag. It's fairly simple. It just snaps into place, so take the back end and connect it to the front. Little tip, make sure you have it secured. Usually, once you have grass in there, you'll know for sure. I found out the hard way and the handle fell off, so and then I had to make sure it was snapped into place, so just a little FYI. Now, if you want to mulch the grass, you want to put this plug in to make sure the grass doesn't uh, bunch up in the back of the mower. So you see there's an opening in the bag, and then there's also a little window on the mower. And you slide the little hooks of the bag into place, and then that window goes over the hole on the bag so you can see inside to see how full it is. Also on the back, you get this little flapper that lets you know how full the bag is as well. But, I'm, you know, I'm not a big fan of that. To insert the battery is fairly simple. To check the power, on the battery, you just press that black button and it'll give you the four bars. The fifth bar is to tell you that the battery is too low and it needs to be charged. Once it's inserted, you're good to go. Now to change the levels of the mower, you have one, two, three, four, five, or six, and you can just move it. It's a lot easier than I'm making it look because I'm pushing down on it, but it's very easy to adjust. To start the mower, all you have to do is hold down the button and pull down the bar and it should start right up. And just release to stop it. As you can see, the bottom of the mower is pretty much plastic. The only thing that isn't is the blade. So you do need to be careful with it, but it should hold up. This will give you a comparison of my gas mower to the battery powered one, the size of it and also how loud it is. I think this one sounds like a vacuum. The mower is very compact. It weighs about 30 pounds. It has a pivoting handle, makes it very easy to pick up, and you can store it wherever you want because it folds down into a very compact little unit.